Okay, welcome back. <coughs> we are going to try out our LCD mini panel. So, one tinkerboard. One tinkerboard power supply. One USB power supply. So, <coughs> take the little sheet off. Okay, so we have our panel there. We have our driver board. And we need an HDMI cable. So I have an HDMI cable. Let's hook it up. Click. And one into here. Click. Now we need power for our video board. Let's make sure I can get all the way over here. There we go. So you can see it's on. And... LED for the, the control of the panel. So let's boot this tinkerboard. Make sure I got the right direction. So it's booting. Now last time I did the, I, mean I tried it out first. There we go. We're booting. There we go. Lucky ducky. So, it works. One driver board running on 5 volts, not 12. Which is weird because the boards list themselves on the back side as 12 volt boards. Now I checked the panel for my other panel. Wherever I stuck it. <coughs> hmm. Where did I stick my other one? I'll have to find the board. But my other panel, and I think I'll go find it right now. Okay, so this little panel, along with this little driver board, the only required 5 volt. Now I went and looked up this panel, this guy here, and it uses less than 5 volts. So I have no idea why they specify 12 volts. So I'm going to power this all down. Boink. Unhook the HDMI cable and I will unplug the power here and I will unplug. Well, I can leave that on. So I'm going to unclip the ribbon cable. There we go. So one little panel. Woo. Put it aside and so we're going to have. <coughs> this ribbon cable which is for this this so I'm going to take my glasses off for a sec now I have to make sure I get the right side up right side down type idea nope this way okay
Okay, so I need something to prop this up a little bit. Raspberry Pi. Okay, now according to should be going this way. And then this guy goes over here to this. Okay. Let's try some power here. So there is something coming into the panel. So let's plug our HDMI again into our Pi. This guy, the tinkerboard. And we'll boot it. Hmm. Nope. Well, we're not overheating or anything, but it's definitely not working. <coughs> so the little panel works off this driver board, but the big panel does not. But I can tell something is happening because I turned the power off. 
and the panel changes slightly. So either I got a wrong cable for this on the first one. Well, and that's the only thing I can think of is the cable's wired wrong or this board can't drive the bigger panel. But it's weird because the specs say on this panel, this driver board, it is capable of 1920 by 1080 in the specs. Hmm. No, I don't know. Slide our little edge connector in. Like so. There we go. So there's the OS on this one. Now there are some menu options in here. So if I go, no, not that. There. Brightness control, hue, saturation, color, language, H position. Let's try this again. Oh, my ribbon cable, I think, is not connecting well. Okay. Language, OSD timeout, transparent exit. Okay. mode I might not have enough power for uh, this screen I'm resetting the board a lot No, I'm having five volts, two and a half amps, so it should be the current. So why is this guy blinking off and on all of a sudden? Okay, so we want it in here. Display, race with sleep. Why are we turning off? We are blinking the screen on and off, and I don't know why. Just a sec. I wonder if my little ribbon cable's not quite on. Come on. Ah, fucking cables. Yeah. Let's just make sure we got this in here correctly.
Okay. Okay, so HDMI. Let's try this again. Oh, fuck off. Why are you turning off and on? Come on, stay on. You gonna blink off again? Oh, oh I hate this. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Exit. No, not enter. Ah. Uh, ah, bloody hell. Enter. Enter. Okay, let's try this again. Enter. There we go, enter. Ratio, sharpness, mode. That seems to change orientation. Power saving. Burning off. What's cross? Cross X, 50, cross Y. Battery off. CBBS system auto enter ah pal NTS I can't get to the other menu entries I'm not worried about the sound one I was curious what the second icon down was Blue screen on, sharpness mode. So it works on the little panel, but it doesn't want to work on the big panel. Well, the only thing I can think of is the cables doesn't work properly. See, my problem with this is that here. So this is the original cable that goes into here. Notice the blue wiring right there. And then notice the wiring for this. Am I missing wires? And of course, too bad you can't join these together. Can you actually do this? Leave my glasses off for this. So. You can. I'm curious. No, 
Now, well, whoops. This panel is useless, or this cable is useless. I could look up more cables for this. I mean, what is this one? Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. This is a 30 pin. Now, of course, if I put a little mouse on here and stuff like that, like I, let's say I borrow this mouse right here uh, and I put it on here. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little tiny, tiny cursor here. Menu. Accessories. There you go. A little browser. <laughs> and a super tiny cursor. Yes, sirree, it's a desktop. Can't even click the X because I can't find it. Uh, there you go. <laughs> well, I have another board coming anyway with a slightly different specs. So we can always find out. Nice thing about tink these tinker boards and you know pies, just pull the power on them. They don't care. I found that getting this off took a little bit of effort. But it works. I need to put that attached to that in some manner. I have to think about it. So that's testing out that little LCD. Of course, the driver board doesn't appear on to drive the bigger panel. And I was reading things about single DVS and double DVS and other weird crap. So I'm not sure what's going on. Um, in the meantime, I think I'll have to do some more soldering. Uh, fix. I have to do the minis. And I need to do one of these guys, actually. So let's just see what we get in our bag. Parts, parts, parts. Board. Anything else in the bag? Nope. So we have one circuit board, one clippy clippy thing, big heat sink, really big cap, moderate cap, regulator, control, knob, power switch, ooh, interesting cap, little greeny thing, screw, screw, I wonder what those are for. Oh, I think just to screw that down or something like that. What else we got here? Uh, resistors. Resistors. Yep, just what I thought. Check this out. Stupid teeny weeny little diodes. Yeah, you can see it right there on the thing. Right there, they want to put teeny weeny little ones in there. Now I want to put big weeny weeny ones in there. So, one, two, three, four. 
Now, of course, our problem is going to be our whole size is a little on the big side. Big. They cut the holes really, really small. Now, last time what I did was I drilled them a little bigger with this. Believe it or not, there we go. So you drill the hole slightly bigger. Oh, oh, oh. Get a little more widening on that. Here we go. Ta da! So, we don't like using those. Let's get our parts out of the way. Another cap, a transistor, some ceramics, polyester. No, not the pants. Put that back there. So, Another one. You know, it's almost season time for all the ducks to leave Calgary. You know, head on north. Yep. Ooh. Come on. Have to be careful. I don't want to wreck the pads on the other side. We'll need a bit of it for soldering. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, don't need to draw my finger. One more to go. Okay, so we take one of our guys here and just test all the holes out. Can we get our thing in here? Yeah, we can. It's a little snug. That one isn't. That one isn't. That one isn't. Nope, 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 just this guy here. So this one, there we go. Now try it, there we go. So that does that. Sweep all the crap off the desk. Okie dokie. So we need um, our little red thing here. So our board says we need to do two that way. But I found I needed to alternate, otherwise these they're really thick. So this becomes this. Like so. So then we put it in the hole. And we put this one in the hole. Like so. 
Then we do the next one. So they want that. So I'm going to go down. Yeah, and I'm going to fold over. So this one goes like this. tight fit okay so this guy is having a trouble with that hole uh, uh. hmm There. So that hole there is needs a little bit of. There we go. Now we put it down. Try again. Aha! There we go. Okay. So there's two. Now we have to do this one, and it's band down, and we have to flip it over this side so this one goes like so there we go like so and then we have one more left and it says band like that so it's like this we flip over the top like so This one's a little on the tight side also, so... Let's try that. There we go. There we go. So, like so. It's a bit tight. But it works. So, well, I need heat. Uh, oh. Uh. I do wish the main power on the soldering station was on the front, not on the rear. And we'll need that. Okay. Yeah, we should just have enough trace there. Yeah, just enough. Should work.
Okay, glasses off for a sec. Come on. Whoops. I'm too cold. These leads are big heat sinks. And this is going to be a very sloppy job. This is very tricky work. You know, I wonder if I just trim these leads right now. That snapped up really good. Well, they're in. Not very pretty, but I think it'll do the job. I don't like this. Let's just gnaw off that a little bit. There we go. Whoa. Very warm. They cool off a little bit. And the scraps. This mat is very immune to heat. So tapping my pencil on it to get rid of stuff is just fine. Here we go. Let 
my way at two, let's see, 220 ohm plus D3. Another diode, the little guy though this time. So do we have, what do we have on here? Um, IN4007. Uh, 4,007, 4,007, 4,007, and the extra diode. Boy, these diodes are painted bad. Another 4,000, so they're all the same. So they want... Wow, they expect me to really, really cram that diode in there. This is stupid. It doesn't even match the component size. D3. So we've got the transistor. We've got little cap, medium cap, big cap, potentiometer, and the connectors, the 5K1 resistor. The fuse. What fuse? This must be a fuse, not a cap. Uh, little cap. Another little cap. Why the diode? Hmm. I think I'm going to have to do this as one of these guys, like so. No choice in the matter. Wow. And then we need a 220 ohm resistor. That ain't it. 220, that is it. So they would want that there too. Wow. This guy's really crammed the real estate here. And then we need a cap over here. Four. And then we need a cap over here. Okay, then 5K1. Now green is 5, so. Now, do they give us enough room to put it? Yeah, no, not really. Of course not. Could you put it down? Will you allow for down? Oh, that one allows for down. That's better. Okay. LED. Long leg is positive, like so. Well, I hope long leg is positive. You know, I swear, I can spell Mississippi, but I can't remember the polarity of an LED. Let us go, go, where's my mouse? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no mouse on the OS because I left it in there. <laughs> Where is it? Dumb William. My little mouse toggly dongly here, back in there. 
Here we go. One mouse. One browser. One restore pages. Uh, the other browser. Restore pages. Yes, long lead is positive. Okay. Let's see back to studio here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So we need to solder all these guys. And for that, I want the arm back. Okay, off the clip. Well, those caps could be a little farther down. Come on, guys. There we go. And our LED could be farther down too. Okay. Scrap bin, cutters. Sure, just cut the microphone, William. That would be fun. We know what we'd be repairing. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Okay, glasses again. Okay, so now we have to do bigger parts. Uh, well, the transistor. The uh, copper is for shunting heat away from the transistor while I solder. Wouldn't want to damage the thing. Uh, microphone go back that way. Whoops. Okay. Glasses again, and three leads to trim. Okay, 
Now we have some capacitors here to do. So a really big one. Mr. Negative goes that way. Mr. Medium. Goes this way. Well, actually take that out. We need to put the little guy in first. Uh, let's see, negative is white. That goes that way. So this one. And then this one. Okay. And off with glasses again. Sponge, sponge, sponge. Actually, I don't have a sponge. Copper, copper mesh, brass mesh. So. Okay, a little rotation, a little bit of that. glasses again that's all our caps okay into the trash can there we go Now for, we have a piece right here, which is this green thing. Make sure the, uh, hmm, in. Oh, it's gonna be a big snug fit. Let me guess. They made the holes too small. No, they just made the stupid thing stupid. The holes in the board are slightly wider than the gizmo. Yes, getting this straight, man. There we go. Let's do that. We'll solder on that to get it firmly in place. Done. So that's the green gizmo. Okay. There's a potentiometer down here. Let's put all my bass clips here.
Here we go. Some solder. Take the clip off. Don't need any more. Done. And I'm out of solder. So <clears throat> more solder. Okay, so we need the switch. Actually, let's put the fuse in. And that looks like... Maybe not. Let's see. Um, yeah, like that. Okay, so... Unk, unk. Okay. Now to solder that fuse. Here we go. Okay, leads. Okay. Let's do the LM actually first. Interesting, give you lots of extra parts in this kit. I can say that much. Two screws for one job. Okay. Yes, boys and girls, this is how you do it. Not too tight, though, because we need a little slack as we do all these pins. So, let's see, big pins there, little pins there, like so. there. Now I need to solder those heat sink pins first. I found always that was the easiest to do it. Done. Now we can do the regulator itself which I'll just bring up closer to my eyeballs. Okay, so okay, so we have three regulator pins to do. One, two, three. Okay. Getting there. Okay. So let's clip. One more clip. Okay, so that leaves a power switch right here. Wow, you little buggers. You can't even measure. Holy schmoly. <laughs> wow. All I can say is that uh, whoever did the PCB board didn't do it very well. Things are just slightly out of measurement.
There we go. Power switch. That leaves one last component to put on this big hunk of junk. Nope, doesn't look like it goes that way, does it? Oh, it's to the top, okay. Okay. Large, large pads, lots of solder. There we go. Then we need a knob on here. Something like this. Wow, what a wimpy knob. There we go. Okay. Built one of them. I'm not going to build all four on this video, but extra diodes, extra screw, extra resistor, extra resistor. And this is what it looks like. So I'm planning to use this on my cob light. Now I was thinking of, underneath all this junk, using one of these here, haven't decided yet. But it should be a fairly robust power spot and I like the idea of a power switch. Okay, power switch porn. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Not a bad build. I would say these guys should put bigger uh, diodes on here. All of them. I think 4007s are way too wimpy for this. I think this was rated at 1 to I can't remember, like 16 volts or 18 volts. So, and then this one here was 1 to 15, I think it was. But with the default ones, you cranked it up to like 12 volts. These really were blistering hot. Everything else was fine, just that. This, I like this one over this one, but this one needed this. It's a smaller surface, you can see that, eh? This one's nice because it's got the digital readout. You can tune it right away and know what voltage is. This one does not have that. Although I could put it in. I do have some mini voltmeters just like this. Right, that you can wire on here. But I won't bother. So that's that build for that. There is some other builds I could do. This is just a um, little voltage regulator. It's like input, tune it, output, DC. And this guy here is a similar idea, even more primitive. Again, see, this is this is probably would be something if you wanted, you know, five volts or out of or whatever. It's tunable. This may be about 5 volts. This is the only one that actually have an instruction sheet. Ooh, look at this. Instructions. Remember, RTFM. Read the fine manual. So, here we are. 
Chinese, 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 Chinese. Well, but here, 47 for all the parts. And a picture. And here, the circuit diagram. Are we actually putting four lights on here? Yeah. What the heck is this thing again? I don't know. Just a sec. I'm going to go get my phone. Okay, you can't read it. That was a secret. You're not supposed to see that. <laughs> Whatever. I can't even write the lines correctly anyway. Uh, humble bundle. Yeah, it would be. What we want out of here. Where is that guy? I didn't put it on my bar, did I? No. Where did I put that guy? Photos. Google Play Maps. G E F Google T. Where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. S There we go. Let's put it right there. So Google Translate. So camera. So let's see first of all. Oh, come on, stay flat. Hmm. Let's try the other side. Let's try the top there. PPG, Ted. Wow, this doesn't translate well. Oh, it's just a crumply paper, man. Come on. So I just want to get my iron out and iron it. So what the hell is this? Oh, come on. You know, on cell phones, I fucking hate... Oh, I have to go to sleep. Oh, bang it to sleep. Oh. Do you know how many times I tune this thing to stop doing that? And it just puts it back. Three. Four. Nope.
wish this would translate. Circuit board. This is like the instructions, and this is like... Why can't I just translate the top part of that? Nope. I give up. Don't know what it is. It does something, but I don't know what it does. Two op amps, four LEDs, a transistor. Potentiometer. Hmm. Well, it does something, and I have no idea what it does. <laughs> have to assemble it. I'll have to look it up on my AliExpress and see what the heck I actually bought. Might have been just one of those junk little toy projects. But I know this one anyway. This is definitely a, uh, a voltage reg uh, not a voltage regulator, but a um, just a bridge gizmo. Yeah, I'll have to build that later. But what time is it? It's time to go watch some Netflix. So I'll be back later.